So now let's start with the next chapter in computers that is data communication and networking. So I'll be explaining briefly first. After that, I'll be reading out whatever we will be studying in this particular chapter. So data communication and then so in this pic you can clearly see. So the various electronic devices, basically computer, which we are addressing in this particular chapter. So these computers are communicating with each other. That is what is the meaning of communication? Some data is shared between the various electronic devices. So now here we will be studying in detail about this particular concept only, like how the data communication is done and how the network is done between the various electronic devices. So here first we will be understanding the term data communication. What is communication channel? What is communication media? Guided media or wired technologies, unguided media or wireless technologies, computer network, benefits of network, types of computer networks, network devices, network topology, models of computer networking, OSI model, terms related to this particular network. So now let's understand the term data communication. So there I have explained very generic. So here we will be understanding in detail. So here it is the exchange of data between two devices using some form of the transmission media. See if you are uh, filling the water from one particular uh, tank to the another tank. So there the water flows through a pipe. Okay. So this process is called as the communication and through which it goes that is called as the transmission media. So this can be either our pipes or uh, any small canals, something like that. So, other than relate, Marco, do you understand Marco Beko? So, it includes the transfer of data or information and the method of preservation of the data during the transfer process. So, this is very, very important. See, now, for example, if you are sending a WhatsApp message to your friend or if you are sending a video or a photo, so that is called as the data, right? So, that data is communicating or that data is getting transferred. So when you are sharing one particular image, then that particular data has to be preserved, right? So you cannot send like broken image or faded image at all. Or if you are sending a voice message, that should go properly. So here, this particular concept should take care of the preservation of the data also. So then corrupt or the protect I it beko. So data is transferred from one place to another in the form of the signal. This is what you have to understand. So how the data is transferred? It is transferred in the form of the signals. See now explaining, I am explaining to you and you are able to hear my explanation or understand my explanation. So this is my voice message or the speech I can say. So here when we are transferring the data, it is done with the form of certain signals. And when we talk about signals, there are three different types of the signals. So the data can be communicated in any one among these three forms. The very first form is the digital signal. So you have studied about the term digital analog and all in the earlier chapters. So digital signal here the data is transmitted in the electronic form that is in the binary digits zero or one form vadaga data transfer akriti. And what is the analog signal? Here the data is transferred in the form of the radio waves like in the telephone line. So radio waves and rena sine waves or the electromagnetic waves, okay, so which we use for the telephone line. So the data can be transferred by this method also. The last type is the hybrid signal. So when we use the term as hybrid, that means it is a combination of the digital as well as analog, okay. So hope you have understood this slide very much clearly, the meaning of the term data communication and in which form the signals can be communicated. So you can see here, a sender is here like I am sending a WhatsApp message to you. So you are a receiver. So that will go through the server or through the internet services or the wireless services. Okay. So here that data, whatever I am sending, if I am sending a pic or a link, website link, whatever it is. Okay. Now what it is called as a protocol, you can see the term protocol. So we will come across this protocol term in further slides also. So try understanding the meaning of the term protocol. So protocol and then set of instructions that is I am giving certain instruction for my WhatsApp to send this message to you or to send this photo to you. So this is called as a protocol or you can give one more definition that step by step method. So how it will go? So you will click 
you will select it and then you will send it and again it will be reached by the receiver person so another definition of the protocol is it is a set of rules and regulations by defining certain steps okay so these three are all the definitions of the term protocol so hope you have understood so now let's understand the term communication channel so it refers to the direction of the signal flow between the two linked devices so which are the two linked devices here one is sender and another one is the receiver so either nadu on the linking it so the direction in which the information or the signal is shared that is called as the communication channel so this communication can happen in three different ways the very first way is the simplex channel so you can see here it is very very simple so here the sender is sending the signals and the receiver is receiving the signals so it is in only one direction so it cannot happen in the other direction okay remember this so here what example i can give radio so now you are listening the news in the radio so whatever you are talking you are discussing those signals are not received by the radio right so that is what is the simplex signal okay and this signal is always unidirectional so note down all these important terms so the questions can be appeared from this now let's understand the second one that is half duplex channel so this is half duplex channel so data can flow in both the directions see you can see here data is flowing in both the direction but what this diagram is actually but it is not at the same time so in example i can give here as the walkie talkie so now if uh, you might have seen uh, i am not sure like whether you have used this or not but you might have seen in uh, movies and all so in army walaga if the commander wants to give the instruction to his team or the army so he will give certain instructions and after that he will say over then after some time they will uh, reply for that instruction and the receiver will say over and again the sender so illa neti simultaneously both of them cannot speak so that is what is the half duplex so you can see here illa bandu signal is going in this direction and again in this direction so that's why it is half duplex now let's understand the term full duplex signal so what is the meaning here it is a wireless handset or the mobile phone that is here the flow of the signals can happen in both the directions so for example if you are talking over mobile phone so you are also speaking simultaneously and your friend also will speak simultaneously so jagadu mundu ibbru jagadu tartare yara yara madadu tartare kelisko terodilla so that is what is the duplex full duplex signal okay it can happen simultaneously in half duplex one after the other in simplex it is in only one direction so this is what is the term communication channel mean so now let's understand the meaning of the term communication media so what is the term here it refers to the transmission media or the connecting media used in the network so connecting media andre ene ig nan helidni if you want to transfer the water from one tank to the another tank either you will uh, use a pvc pipe or a small pipe or you will dig the soil so when the small canal gate made you will allow the water so that is called as the media like how that is done how the connection is provided okay so here it can be divided into two broad categories transmission media one is guided media or the wired technologies and the second one is unguided media or the wireless technologies so simple example what i can give you here is guided uh, wired technology andre na if you want to transfer the data or something you will connect the cable okay so if we use that that is called as the wired technologies and if we use certain waves and all that is called as the unguided media or the wireless technology so now let's understand about this guided media in detail so nimage basic ag understand aagbekattanda i have kept this cable here okay so now let's read the data signal in guided media is bound by the cabling system that guides the data signal along a specific path so it guides the data signal along a specific path when we transfer the data it will not get transferred randomly or haphazardly then it consists of a cable composed of metals like copper tin or silver so if you have a material use made good conductor material use made the data is transferred so again these are classified into three types one is a twisted pair cable 
coaxial cable and the fiber optic cable so let's understand about these three in detail in the next slide so here the first one is the twisted cable or it is also called as the ethernet cable so you might have used this so ni mani wala desktop itta andra so ee type na cable uh, uh, insert madir kule lan cable at karitu basically so this is called as the ethernet cable or the twisted pair cable so let's understand the technicalities here wires are twisted together you can see here wires are twisted together which are surrounded by an insulating material and an outer layer called the jacket so you can see here it is surrounded by the insulating layer obviously because it is good conductor of electricity one of the wires is used to carry signals to the receiver and the other is used only as a ground reference so idrolaga certain wires are dedicated to carry out certain functions so they are used to carry out the signals whatever the data you want to transfer and the other signal is used as the ground reference so what is the meaning of the term ground reference it is the reference point from which the voltage is measured earthing antevala so that is what is the ground reference so here the basic example is local area networks use twisted cable a uh, pair cable that is lan cable so now let's understand the second one that is coaxial cable so this is the coaxial cable it carries the signal of higher frequency data communication through the network so high frequency data can be transferred using this coaxial cable it has a single inner conductor so you can see here it has a single inner conductor that transmit electric signals and the outer conductor acts as a ground and is wrapped in a sheet of teflon or pvc so this is the outer conductor and it is wrapped in the teflon for the insulation coaxial cable is commonly used in transporting multi channel television signals in cities like cable tv network so nim manige cable tv network ittandra so they use this kind of cables the next one is the fiber optic cable which is very very popular so this is also fiber optic cable only yellow color one so it is made up of glass or plastic remember so this cables ilen kanakatavala nimaga these are the signals dot dot so these are made up of the glass or plastic that's why we have used the term as fiber optic and transmit signals in the form of the light from a source at one end to the another so optic ya kante ho because it is transferred in the form of the light optic fibers allow transmission over the long distance at higher bandwidth which is not affected by the electromagnetic field this is the main reason that why the fiber optic cable is becoming popular since recent years because what happens here is there is no any transmission loss when the data is transferred and you can transfer it for a very very longer distance with a high bandwidth so what is the meaning of the term bandwidth so it is the amount of data per time or transferred per time or moved per time so at higher bandwidth you can transfer using the fiber optic cable and it is not affected by electromagnetic field what is the meaning of the term you might have heard like when the power is getting transmitted through the wire so certain magnetic field is formed so that is called as electromagnetic field so if that field is formed that might hamper the transmission of the data but when we are using the insulating materials here there is no any effect of the electromagnetic field hence there is no any hindrance in the speed or the loss of the data the speed of optical fiber is hundreds of times faster than the coaxial cables so these are all the benefits why this fiber optic is becoming popular recently so now let's understand about the unguided media or the wireless technologies so what you have to understand here is we are not using any manual cable here so we are using only certain waves okay that to electromagnetic radiations we are using here so there are four different types one is radio type of the uh, wireless transmission next is microwave infrared wave and the satellite communication so let's read here it is a transfer of information over a distance without the use of the enhanced electrical conductors or wires so we are not using any cables and all so when the computers in a network are interconnected 
and data is transmitted through waves then they are said to be connected through the unguided media so in many other wifi router that is so it is uh, uh, you are using your wifi connections and all so all that is wireless technology only okay so just go through this so this is the wavelength and as you go further like this frequency is getting increased isn't it frequency is getting increased but when you go in this direction wavelength is getting increased so here this is the radio wave you can see here and this range of the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation is called as the microwave and this is the infrared this is the visible light so for the communication here we are using radio waves microwaves infrared and the satellite okay so we are not using all these remember them so they can be asked in the exam like do we use gamma rays as a wireless technologies in the unguided media for the transmission of the data no so now let's understand all these four in detail radio wave transmission so here two terminals communicate by using the radio frequencies so you can see here i had told you this is the radio frequency 10 raised to 4 so in frequency range of the wave irathala so that is used for the transfer of the data and these are the omnidirectional omnidirectional andre na in any direction okay that is called as or in all direction you can say and next one is a microwave transmission so here it is unidirectional so here the transmission happens only in one direction so all these are actually are the properties of the waves so in an electromagnetic spectrum olaga waves are formed right so a particular property now we use maadkondu we take the help for the transfer of the data that's it so microwaves have a higher frequency than that of the radio waves obviously you can see here as we go to this side okay so e side dintra hing odive andra okay in this side so the frequency is getting increased so obviously the frequency of microwave is more than that of the radio wave but wavelength is less try understanding that don't get confused so this is all the concept of physics actually so microwaves is one of the fastest media for data transmission over communication channel so if we use microwave for the transmission of the data here the data get transferred very fast it is used in cellular networks and television broadcasting wifi etc so nam the phone communication networks sigadu ellano they use microwave transmission next is infrared wave transmission so you can see here 10 raised to 12 frequency then transmission infrared waves are the high frequency waves used for short range communication so you can understand microwaves are used for little longer range but these are used for the short range communication because these waves don't pass through the solid object because this is a property of the infrared wave so hence they are mainly used in television remote wireless speakers etc so in the remote olaga or drr nitrandra remote operate agudilla because the infrared wave will not hit the receiver there okay so there they use the infrared wave and this is used because remote and all we use it at a very shorter distance but the technology all change age wo even if you operate from the other uh, room or even if you op operate if someone is in front still it gets operated next the last type of the wireless technology here is the satellite communication so as the word satellite is used here so we use satellites for the wireless communication here and obviously when we use satellite for the communication it will be covering very very long distance and the communication happens very fast so basically this is used for the communication in ships vehicles planes etc okay so hope you have understood about the guided and unguided technologies so now there are certain points to remember hope you have used the bluetooth so bluetooth is a wireless technology used for exchanging data over short distance to create a personal area network so what is the meaning of personal area network so ivella area network na further explain martha in detail age but as of now a small network see if you are, you have put on the bluetooth on and if you are sharing certain data or your internet to your friend so a small area personal area network is formed right between the two devices so this technology is called as the bluetooth technology or it is a wireless technology next i had explained about the bandwidth earlier also so it determines the data transfer rate which is measured in cycles per second cps so it can be like hertz 
cycles per second are like 600 Mbps. Next is throughput. So it is the amount of data that is actually transmitted between the two computers. So this you have to understand. If bandwidth under it, now assume that this is the bandwidth. Okay, but in that only the small quantity of the data is transferred. So this blue color is called as the throughput, and this yellow color is called as the bandwidth. Okay, so for example, if Reliance is giving the speed of 600 Mbps, okay, for a certain location. But you are getting 10 Mbps from them because overall they are giving 600 Mbps for all. But for you, you are getting 10 Mbps. So that 10 Mbps is called as the throughput. Okay, that is gigabytes per second (Gbps). And this Gbps is the fastest speed unit per data transmission till now. So let's understand the next concept in this chapter. That is the computer networks. 